What is going on everyone? Zenum Productions here. Welcome back to another video. Woo, so I am pretty pumped up honestly because last night what I witnessed was one of the best comebacks I have seen in my entire life of watching football. The Pittsburgh Steelers down 27 to 13 at the half against the Denver Broncos who keep in mind have the best defense in the league. I'm pretty sure they have the best defense in the league. Down 27 to 13. Steelers come back in the second half and rally with 24 unanswered points to win the game and move to 9 5 on the year. Broncos move down to 10 and 4. Can you believe that? The Steelers. Obviously, I think that they do have the best offense in the league. They have the best wide receiver trio in the league. Uh, the rushing attempt did not do anything. I think they got like 30 something rushing yards the entire night. But, nevertheless, <laughs> the Steelers got 24 unanswered points. It was 24 to nothing in the final quarter, or the final half. So, this is actually ridiculous. I just like making videos every once in a while, talking about this kind of stuff, because, obviously, I'm a big Steeler fan. If any of you are too, then that's great. Um... That was a great win, and honestly, I, w I was so pumped up. I don't think I've ever been that pumped up, ever, <laughs> to um to to be the to be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever been that pumped up watching a Steelers game because as the second half came out, I was sitting there going, you know, this is about to be one hell of a comeback. Like this is about to be one hell of a comeback. So I'm sitting there, the Steelers defense who allowed like the third most points ever under coach Mike Tomlin in the first half did not allow maybe two first downs the entire second half. They were not on to the other side of the field. They were not on to the Steelers side of the field until like the near end of the fourth quarter. So how crazy is that? A defense that was as bad as the Steelers did not let Brock Eisweiler move. And honestly, I don't really know what else to say about it. They, they simply shut them down every single play in the second half. As soon as it began, it was just, it was such a different ball game. You know, it was 27-13 in the first half. Denver, 24-0 second half, Pittsburgh. Absolutely amazing. When's the last time you've seen the Steeler defense shut someone out like that? <clears throat> crazy. Absolutely crazy. I've never, I don't know when the last time that happened. So... Honestly, what I can take away from this game is that the Steelers, like they said before the game started, the Steelers are not a team that you want to face, that no one wants to play against the Steelers. So what I'm thinking is maybe, just maybe, we uh, we might have a shot here at, uh, well, I know we definitely will probably make the playoffs now because what we have next is playing against Baltimore, who is one of the worst teams in the league, and then against Cleveland, which I believe is the worst team in the league. So, if we lose any of those two games, we definitely do not deserve to be in the playoffs. Especially with the fact that we have Big Ben now. We didn't. We do not deserve to be in the playoffs if we lose any of those games. So, what we're going to do is we're going to win out. We're going to grab that fifth or sixth seed in the wild card. And it'll be all good. We're going to grab that 5th or 6th seed, and then we're going to be all fine and dandy and make it in the playoffs. Uh, who knows how far we're going to reach into the playoffs, because no one really knows. I don't really think too many people expect the Steelers to make it too far, but you never know. The Giants, what was the Giants record that one year uh, when they beat the Patriots? What were they, like 9-7, and 10-6, and six, something like that? You know, no one expected them to do that, and they somehow made it through and won, because... To me, the football season is completely different as the playoff time rolls around. The football season is completely different. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I am very confident that the Steelers will be able to make it to as far as they want to go. As long as they fight and keep playing like they did in this second half against the Broncos, then they'll be able to go as far as they possibly want to go. So, honestly guys, I just thought I'd make this quick little video because... As you guys probably know, I'm a big Steeler fan, and every time something happens to them, or that they do something good or bad, I'm usually here covering it and 
just talking about it because I'm just so super excited. I like I don't know, I'm just super excited. I was so mad when after the first stop, I was just so mad and then I saw them come back out and you can just feel the atmosphere changing. And I was like, man, this is gonna be a great comeback. And it did, it happened. It was a great comeback. Antonio Brown, the best receiver in the league. Antonio Brown, what was it, 180 something receiving yards, 16 receptions, something like, something crazy like that. Two touchdowns, I mean, oh my gosh. And Ben Roethlisberger almost threw the game away in the last, last quarter, trying to run down the clock. They actually passed the ball and he threw an interception. I'm like, Ben, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, that was so bad. He almost was the reason why we went into overtime, and we didn't go into overtime, because our defense once again stopped him. So honestly, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, but yeah, the Steelers win, and now we are in perfect control. We ha pretty much have no worries about this these next two games. As a fan, going as a fan, I mean, obviously the team still has to play, but as a fan, the fans pretty much have nothing much to worry about these last couple of games here. But guys, that's all I have time for today. Let me know what's your favorite football team and how are they doing? How you feel about them? Because I'm pretty confident about my Steelers right now. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I will be seeing you guys all later on today, probably, with a life story. Because I'm probably going to be double uploading today. So I'll be seeing you guys all later with another brand new video. Take care. Have a nice day. And goodbye.